Welcome to day one of the Trap Trick Structure Deck. Well, Robbie, they can't maintain $5 even these forever. Eh, we'll see about that. Alright, to the 30% of you that have not smashed love and crap out of the subscribe button, or you just want to make sure that you're subscribed, just double check. Make sure you guys don't miss out more awesome content. Hopefully later today we should have or start seeing our reveals for Maze. At least I'm hoping. So beware of Trap Trick Structure Deck displays. Huh, 80 bucks? I guess. Remember, there is credit today um, rolling back off of TCG Player. So if you guys use my link down below, and no additional charge to you helps benefit the channel, and we get a portion of anything you might spend today on TCG Player. So really helps support the channel, guys. I appreciate it. Smile, little, little fat diamond from yours truly here. Uh, we have $14 on the Beware of Trap Trick Structure Decks, $4.50 on the Even Lease. Remember, guys, I've already seen infinite comments from people going, Even it's going to be a dollar card, Robbie. If Imperm wasn't a dollar, what makes you think Evenly's going to be a dollar? But people seem to think they know the market better than I, so huh, prove me wrong. Uh, Ash Blossoms, three bucks. You know, this is amazing. You know, just out of that structure deck, you got five dollars, eight bucks, nine dollars in value, and three cards. You know, let's go ahead and toss the Feather Duster in there as well. You're at eleven dollars in value. The structure deck is bad, say some people. Yeah, crazy that people think like this. Literally, honestly, I think probably the best structure deck of all time, and Pack already proved that, you know, you can take three of these, slam them together, and go win a locals in cash tier format. What more of a reason do you need to pick these up? But all of this stuff dips down. Uh, a few people are thinking that this card's going to be amazing in Eldritch. I say try it, you know, build your own opinion. It's it's something. And then we have, yeah, everything else down here dips under a dollar, which is good. But once again, you got very good 70 cent cards. Oh, hi, Magnites. I forgot you were in there for a second. Sanctums are 40 cents. You may as well grab a set of Sanctums if you don't plan on buying the structure decks. In case you ever want to try something with it. You never know. <laughs> That's the beauty of Yu-Gi-Oh! And then, of course, 20 cent kaijus. I don't want to hear excuses from people saying that they can't afford kaijus now. These are literally 20 cents. All right. <laughs> You're good to go. All right. So, there's this thing I got to address. So, earlier in the week, we talked about this when it was a dollar. And a few people were like, no, Robbie, it's not going to see play. Well, the rest of the market disagrees with you crazily as these have shot up now. You have your difference between this and Crossout Designator, which let's pull up Crossout here because uh, we haven't looked at this in a while. I know these people are like, oh my god, Crossout's gone up. Um, they're like six to seven dollars still, honestly. I think your secret printings are about the same right now. Good news is secret printings have 74 listings versus 147 on the ultra rare. So, what's going on here? Well, because of the application to declare Nibiru or to, you know, cross out a Nibiru or, you know, have the cross out targets for the mirror match, it depends on what you want to play. I don't have an opinion either way. I'm not currently going super crazy in the cash tier department, but a little bit of a heads up here. You do have some deck building, things that you can adjust and try out. Now, there's also this hilarious gem. Earlier in the week... Um, somebody was coming through here, and they were buying these up in large quantities. I don't know who it was. Um, this card had a $29 price tag earlier in the week. Literally, like, two days ago. And guess what happened? do 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 Down they go. See, we have a 27 uh, listing here, holding the line here. But down, down, down they go. All for light play. Sure, no problem. 11 bucks. Don't spend $27 on near mint copies. Just buy light plays. Save yourself $15 a copy. All right. <laughs> Don't literally be the blunt end of the joke. Like, uh, it's so bad. But hilarious. Somebody tried to buy that out. Hey, remember this card? I remember this card. I remember when this card was way more money earlier in the week. We're starting to see the curve finally calm down. 
still sitting at about 15 to 16 bucks, but they're not $20 anymore. All right. After this is the same thing I talk about, you know, you can wait a couple of days and then wait for the market to repopulate. Cause I guarantee you a crap ton of people just actually hit the button of, I need to go look through my bulk and find these and sell them button. And there's a lot more people in this community that you th would ever be surprised. will do that. And that's why you're starting to see the curve, you know, finally start to arch out a little bit. We'll see how much longer that this maintains above a $10 price point. Could be a little while or it could be an immediate shift down. Who knows? But I'm already seeing 41 other listings right now. So repopulation is occurring. Um, yeah, now there's this hilarious thing. You know, the market price for this was $250. Um, these shot up $320, $320, um, $325. Right now you're down to $308, um, lowest near minute. Um, obviously YCS fallout hype is going to be a major thing for this, but I am very curious to know how long this maintains. Um, and that's kind of something important to understand here is, you know, is this going to be a staple for the format or other players going to drop this? I don't know. I'm just here to tell you that the starlight is on the, on the reversal cooldown here. So, or people are just trying to cash in for their quick 300 bucks. Who knows? Um, so this is getting more and more hilarious for these Labyrinth buyouts. $445, $440, and $410. Do you regret not buying these when they were on pre-sale much cheaper? Well, this deck uh, checks off two things that Yu-Gi-Oh players like. Waifu material, according to them, and the fact that it's a trap base deck. And guess what? You're seeing people pay that price point. $120 for the Arianas. I still can't believe that's that much. $65 for Lovely Labyrinths. 40s, Labyrinth, Labyrinths, and 38s. These are still calming down. Yep. The market is doing very markety things. And these are $27 still. I can't believe that. Uh, Sky Prisons. So these are these are eight bucks actually. And then seven bucks down here for these as well. Lots of little movements on the back end. Well, I mean, considering the fact that you can play this in Labyrinth, um, and you already know how your Yu-Gi-Oh community is. I love waifus, they say. I will spend $1,200 on a playset of just three cards. Actually, it's like 15, or no, it's like 1300 at this point. Well, if you're buying the Ariana, 1600 Man, the call, it's like two grand to bling that deck out, if not more. Ugh. Ah, Sky Striker cards. Didn't they just didn't they just announce uh, Engage getting the alternate art as a twentieth twenty fifth quarter century uh, lottery ticket rare? As we're gonna call it. Also, I just want to point out here that Rose Starlights are like the pinnacle of Yu Gi Oh market. Like this card goes up and down. Some days it wants to be a four hundred dollar card. Other days it's down to like two sixty. It's a ride to watch this thing. It really is. I know people just are trying to fire so they're like, ugh, get rid of it. But the whole Sky Striker market is <laughs> hilarious to watch. Kagari's, are these finally calming down? <laughs> I love the the dip and then the the somebody actually bought one for two twenty four, but I see that none have sold recently, which is gonna cause these to crash. Oh gosh, some eh, you're looking still two hundred above for English. I don't like that. That's uh that's still pretty Pretty bad. Forty-three dollars. She's. Do we want to look at Shizuku? Eh, One seventy-three. I'll believe it. And then Rays are down to. Th is that thirty-five dollars? Wow, thirty bucks. Okay. I see that we have some repopulation happening here. Well, that's good at least. Um, very happy to see some sort of stuff happening in the market with these. Kinas are twenty-two bucks. Ugh. Oh boy, Garudas. Um, you know. People are like, oh my god, Garuda's gone up. Hasn't this card always been like 20 bucks? I, I don't know. I, I, feel like I, I feel like I missed that note, but uh, yeah, there's still 20 bucks. Nothing's really changed back here. Um, <laughs> uh, one Piece. I just wanted to include this very quickly just to look. $1,500, by the way. $900. Um, your sealed product is hilarious on this side of the game. I can't believe people actually pay these prices for these, by the way. Like, Uta Alt Art is $200, and it actually has sales. 
I don't even dabble in this card game, and I can already tell you that these prices are absurd to me. Yay, pre-sales. Well, very, very interesting stuff in today's market, but uh, what do you guys think? Please, leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Patrons, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.